show in this lecture we're going to talk about partnerships and we're going to talk about the selling of a partnership interest we will be able to describe the process of selling a partnership interest create the journal entry to record the sale of a partnership interest define the effect of journal entry to sell a partnership interest on the trial balance accounts and explain the effect on the capital accounts of selling a partnership interest all right so now we're going to do the same thing however this time uh we're going to have b sells the capital partnership interest to the partnership however they're only going to uh pay fifty thousand this time so same idea except the exchange will be the fifty thousand so is cash affected yeah it's going to go down by the fifty thousand in this case so if we take a look at that then let's go through the journal entry see what we can do where we run into a problem then do the calculation so cash is cash affected yeah it's going down we the partnerships paying b for uh, the partnership interest cash has a debit balance we're going to do the opposite thing to it which in this case would be a credit we're going to take b off the books b has a credit balance in the capital account we need to make it go down therefore we're going to do the opposite thing to it which in this case would be a debit now the debits do not equal the credits we need more credits in this case and the credits are going to go to m and l the other two partners and we have to figure out how to break it out between those two partners remember we have our, our ratios here so we have m 30 20 and 50 percent broken out between a three to five ratio and we have our capital account balances represent at 151 2 124 2 and 264 6 which are represented in the trial balance up here if we're then going to break out our um our ratio then it's going to be looking like this same calculation we did last time if we're saying three and the two is gone now so we're dividing by three plus five so divided by eight so that's where we come up with the 37.5 and the five over divided by eight which is the three plus the five because the two is gone that's where we get the 62.5 and so now then we have our difference of 74.2. So where does the 74.2 come from? We, uh, B is going off the books at 124.2 and cash is going to be affected by 50. And that's the 74.2. If we multiply that times, the 0 0.375, 0 0.375. That's what's going to give us the 27.825, which is going to be allocated to M. And of course, L will receive the difference. Let's do that calculation, however which is the 74,200 times the 0.625. And that gives us the 46,375. So that's how we're gonna break out this 74,200. That's the plug that we need up here. So our new capital account balances then would be the 179,25, which of course is the beginning balance plus the 27,825 and the 264,600 plus the 46,375, giving us the 310,975, which will give us a total capital account balance of 490. So if we see that in terms of journal entry, we're gonna credit or increase the capital account balance for M, 27,825, and we're gonna credit L, the 46,375. All right, so if we take a look at the effect of this transaction on the trial balance, then we'll see if it does what we expect it to do. What do we expect it to do? We expect M's capital account balance to end at 179.025, B to be off the books because we have now sold B's partnership and they're, they're not with us anymore. And then L's going to be at a capital account balance of 310.975, giving us a total capital account balance, which is equivalent to the book value of the company assets minus liabilities of 490,000. All right, so we're gonna debit B's capital account. So here's B again on the books at 427.2 has a credit balance we're doing the opposite thing to it bring b off the books by debiting it bringing the balance down to zero so b is off the books cash cash is being paid by the partnership to the partner uh, of b in order to buy b's capital account interest therefore cash is a debit balance we're making it go down by doing the opposite thing to it which is a credit bringing it down from 550 to 500 then m uh, m has a credit here so here is m credit balance in the capital accounts like all capital accounts have and we are going to credit it, making it go up because we're doing the same thing to it from 151,200 by 27,825 to 179,025. And then L, we're going to credit L. So here's L's capital account balance has a credit balance in it. We are going to credit it, bringing it up to 310,975, 
we now have a B off the books, we have a M and L on the books, and we see that the cash minus, or the assets minus the liabilities equals the new capital account balances between the only two partners left being M and L at this time. So we are now able to describe the process of selling a partnership interest, create the journal entries to record the sale of a partnership interest, define the effect of the journal entry to sell a partnership interest on the trial balance accounts, and explain the effect on the capital accounts of selling a partnership interest. Thank you.